Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I've missed you all so much. Today we have a topic assessment for uh, topic 14. Uh, it's actually very, very easy, inshallah. Everyone is gonna do very well. So how the assessment will go is I will read the questions to you and you have to try to do them on your own and send me your answers. So you have to evaluate your understanding for the whole topic. Let's begin with the first page here. In number one, I have different objects and the question says, which object is longer than the other objects? So I have to circle the longer object. Number two, which object hold, holds less than the other objects? So the object, the object that holds the least of all of the other objects. I should circle that one. Number three, I have here a measuring cup. So mark all the objects that can be measured with this tool. We call this tool a measuring cup, if you remember. Which objects I can measure using the measuring cup. Number four, Draw an object that is taller than the toy car, but shorter than the lamp. So I have a car, a toy car, and a lamp. Here in the middle, I have to draw an object that is taller than the car, but shorter than the lamp. Let's move on to the next page. Number five. Draw a circle around the container that holds more or underline the containers if they hold the same amount. So what do you think here? Do I have a container that holds more or do both of them hold the same amount? Number six, look at the object and identify the attributes that can be measured. So. I will check which attributes I can use to measure this object. Then draw a circle around the tool that could be used to tell about those attributes and mark an X on the tool that could not. So I will circle the objects that I can use and mark an X on the object that I cannot, uh, on the attribute, sorry, that I cannot use. Number seven, compare the objects and then match the heavier object to the lower side of the scale and the lighter object to the higher side of the scale. Number eight, draw an object that can be measured using both tools shown. So I have a train of cubes and I have a measuring cup. I want you to draw an object that I can measure using both of these tools. Let's move on to the next page. Listen carefully to the question. Teddy helps his father make dinner. They use different things in the kitchen. Look at the fork and the spoon. Draw a circle around the longer object and mark an X on the shorter object. So I have the spoon and the fork. Which one is shorter and which one is longer? I should mark. Then look at the yellow and the red cup. Yellow and the red cup. Mark an X on the cup that holds less or underline the cups if they hold the same amount. So if they hold the same amount, I will underline both of them. Then draw a container that could that would hold more than the red cup. So after I am done underlining or a circling or whatever I should do here, in this space I have, I should draw an object that holds more than the red cup. Number three, look at the turkey and the corn. And then draw a circle around the heavier object or underline the objects if they have the same weight. So here I am comparing the weight. Which is heavier? Which, uh, which is lighter? Or are they both the same? 
then draw an object that would weigh less than the corn so here in this space i have in number three i will draw an object that weighs less than the corn